Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate you tuning back in um, and joining me for this segment. This is going to be a tarot reading uh, using a couple of decks. I've got the Rider Waite deck out and I also have this wonderful new um, deck that I've got. Uh, it's the Soul Cards Tarot deck. Um, beautiful packaging here. I'm going to link it to where you can buy it if you're interested. Um, and I'm going to be using these decks to have a look and see uh, what the tarot can reveal in regards to what would have happened had you stayed with a certain person, okay, in a relationship. So um, straight away we're channeling exes, we're channeling um, the people that almost were, okay, the ones that got away, what would have happened had you stayed and had a life together relationship, um, what would have happened between the both of you, okay. So uh, we'll see what the cards can reveal. So we'll give them a good shuffle. And uh, pull out eight cards. And this can be for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Okay, some interesting cards. Water signs, you've come up as the Ace of Cups. Um, it's often a symbol of religion, marriage, and engagement. So some of you could have got engaged, remarried, or committed to this person. Um, very powerful indeed. Okay, you've got the fall. Mistakes would have continued to be made in some sort of relationship. We've got the knight of wands. Uh, the nine of swords. Nine of swords is re uh, reversed. The knight of wands has come up twice, interestingly. Um, and the last card is the Ten of Swords. Okay, so Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords, um, Two of Swords. Okay, straight away, um, it makes me think that whoever was causing pain or hurt in the relationship, whoever was hurting the other, possibly would have continued to do that. Um, or it would have been like, the Ten of Swords often, be, uh, often is like a betrayal. Okay, it's someone who did something that was pretty hurtful. And... It's either lack of forgiveness from the other person or something like that. Whatever this is, that could have continued to happen throughout the connection here. Um, or it would have been like the Nine of Swords can be like coming out of place of fear. Um, and the Seven of uh, Cups makes me think, um, Water Signs, this is you because you're the Cups. Um, you're coming up as the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups. You would have feared either this person doing that to you again. Um, or you would have feared you would have done something to betray them maybe. However, was sort of causing hurt. It's like continuous hurt. Now, it could be with words as well. The swords can be communication. And then we have like, it could be spitefulness. It could be something you did to physically hurt. Anything to do with communication. So it's either like um, something like this that may, have com uh, that may have continued on in the relationship. There was, op th there would have been opportunities with the Ace of Cups that makes me think you could have moved forward with something, but it, it would have happened uh, very, very slowly. The Nine of Wands says to me, there's a possibility that some of you could have traveled to a different country, city or state to be with this person or to be um, in a relationship with them. And, you know, you had the, the Knight of Wands, you had the Fool. So it makes me think the Fool and the Knight of Wands, they're both travelers. So it makes me think some of you could have... um gone to live with this person overseas uh, or they may have come to be with you um, it could indicate that you both could have up and moved somewhere else completely different you would have started a, a new life learned a new language together be be sort of surrounded in um, new areas new environments so it makes me think you could have started like a fresh or any anyone that sort of had a relationship with visas or immigration or you sort of spoke about these things um, that's what these cards could represent could be that you'd start a new life together um, or you would have done more traveling. Traveling and adventure um, is coming up in the cards here. You know, the Ace of Cups is really auspicious because we see the hand of God, okay? And straight away we can tie this into like faith and a purpose. For some of you, this relationship would have continued to teach you, okay? You would have continued to learn with this person. And the Ace of Cups can be like renewal or rebirth, so it makes me think that had you stayed with this person in this relationship, you would have both transformed or would, you would have both changed. 
but I feel it's more you water signs. Why? Because it, you, you've come up as the cups, okay? The rebirth symbol is, is with you, okay? Because the cups represent water, which is your element. So it makes me feel like you would have changed, you would have transformed, you would have become someone different. You would have evolved more as a person had you stayed in a relationship with them. The fool can also be someone who has to learn many lessons. And it makes me feel like you would have continued to learn lessons in this relationship with this person. And maybe that's why you would have evolved and enlightened to a different person completely. Um, but in a good way, okay? Not in a bad way. I think it would have been in a good way. Um, because the Ten of Swords, as much as it can be a betrayal, it's also like pain or obstacles lead to change. So had you stayed with this person, it would have transformed the both of you in a really powerful way. Um, the Seven of Cups, you would have had some surprises in this relationship. You know, as much as the Seven of Cups, it's it's a bit of a disoriented energy because he doesn't really know what he's going to get, okay? He's sort of standing here, he's thinking about a lot of things, but he doesn't really know so it could be one of two things. It could be that this person would have kept you on your toes, okay? They would have excited you. They would have surprised you. They would have done a lot and you wouldn't have seen it coming, maybe in a very pleasant, beautiful way. But it could also be like you never really know what they were thinking or where they're feeling. And it could be a relationship where you felt, where you would have felt you're constantly like on your tippy toes because you, you don't really know what to expect. So you're sort of expecting this, but then something else happens. So it, it makes me think that there is some unexpected things or you never really know how this person feels about you. Um, there's a lot to do with like fantasy. Okay, this is like fantasy and thought. It's either you're still, fan I mean, maybe you are still fantasizing about a future with this person and what that could have looked like, um, water signs. Maybe you're in this sort of mind state where you're like, you know, I'm still emotionally linked to them. I'm you're you're emotionally linked to what you could have had with them. And, you know, we all are on some level, but for a lot of you, this might have been a relationship that ended recently. It might have been something that you had years ago, maybe even decades ago, but it's never really left you because you still find you still catch yourself thinking about this person and visualizing what you could have had. It's almost like you're in love with the future or you're in love with the idea of what you could have had with them. Um And that's really powerful. It is. I do feel like there would have been forgiveness, okay, for whatever it is that you held. You sort of, you held them accountable for something here. The Ace of Cups teaches us to release things. So maybe eventually had you stayed together, this person would have taught you how to release things and not be confined, not be that two of swords, worried and, and crossed over. Maybe you would have let go. You know, you've come up as the moon here, but you're upside down. So maybe you would have learned to let go only once you would have changed and transformed though. So that, it could have been a long time coming. It could have taken two more years, maybe a couple more months. I think it's more years with the number two um, as to how long, but it would have changed. Why? Because nine, nine is a number of change and transformation. And if that's coming up around the, around the relationship, I think, it, uh, I, I believe it would have been likely that that could have happened. Um, between the both of you, you could have had the the opportunity to heal from this. But you still on some level would have felt foolish or you, you either would have felt foolish yourself or you felt like you needed to make them feel a fool for what they did to you. And maybe that's your way of retaliating the water signs. Um, and and you, you can be this way. You can be quite... You can hold on to these things and, and lash out at people emotionally because you feel like they're deserving of it. You feel like that's your way of getting revenge or, or whatever it is that you feel you need to do. And maybe that transformation with this person would have made you feel differently. But I do feel like you could have started a new life. You could have seeked, uh, sought forgiveness. You could have worked through this um, together. At least on at least on a huge level, I feel like you could have. Um, like I said, it's quite a nostalgic reading, so I do hope it's been helpful, and I hope it's sort of um, it's been 
food for thought for you. So I really do appreciate you tuning in, of course. So thank you everyone so much for your likes, shares, subscribes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very soon. So keep well, everyone, and take care.